Hello gorgeous Gemini and welcome to your weekly reading. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Gemini. If your Sun sign does not resonate this week you might like to check out your Moon sign, your Rising sign and for love and romance your Venus sign because often these readings contain messages which are important to you as well. This reading is general in nature, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Be sure to filter all of the messages through your own intuition and just take what fits your circumstances. Guidance for Gemini, please, Spirit. Guidance and messages for Gemini. Messages that Gemini need to hear right now, please, Spirit. If you enjoy the reading, click the like button, subscribe if you would like to, and press the notification bell. As you all know, I really love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. Your energy, Gemini, and the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. And we have in the castle of dreams. So the first thing that I'm seeing is that it's important to take notice of your dreams, Gemini. You're going to be receiving some prophetic dreams, some dreams that put the pieces together in your life in some way. Something you have been confused about or wanting clarity on is going to come through. A message will come through in your dreams. Become altered by the color of your dreams. So this message I feel is about not giving up on, on your dreams and what you're truly wanting for yourself. You know what is in alignment with yourself, Gemini. And it's important not to be swayed or held back by other people or circumstances perhaps. Or it may be your own thinking about it or your own uh, self-sabotage in some way. So it's important to be really aware of what's going on here in a situation where you have had a dream, but perhaps you haven't been taking some action where maybe you actually can take some action, take back some power into your life in some respect. There is also an energy here of rising fortune I'm seeing this beautiful moon symbolism here and I'm seeing it uh, rising for you this week and moving forward Gemini so I do feel that there's going to be some great fortune when it comes to making a decision or making a change that affects you emotionally it's going to be a good decision the moon also is Pisces card in the tarot so you may have a Pisces around you that's significant in your life it's also a very psychic energy so you may be feeling um, very psychic you're wanting to delve into that more or it may come through in surprising ways messages from spirit and that type of thing so let's take a look at this card here for you Gemini we have the nine of emotions this is the wish fulfillment card in the tarot. So this is a wonderful sign that your dreams can come true or will be coming true. Now that's not to say you don't need to put some things into place and take some action where they are needed. Some of you know that this needs to or this can come about if you take some action and for others this may feel like it comes in and falls into your life without um, without you doing much but for those of you that know you're needing to put in some action take make some decisions around this to bring in um, a wish fulfillment then this is an encouragement from spirit for you to do this and maybe check in with your intuition first as well this is a magical time in your life when wishes are granted and dreams come true. It may seem that good luck is following you, but actually these happy times are your just reward for being a loving and wonderful person. 
your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have more fun. So enjoy, bring joy into your life in whatever way you can. Maybe a very simple thing that you change or do this week to bring that joy and inspiration into your life, Gemini. Beautiful card and a beautiful message. You are a spiritual warrior. At the moment, Gemini, you really are going through some interesting energies when it comes to spiritual things. You may be receiving some messages that challenge you or you may be overcoming some blockages, but you have this warrior spirit. So you're prepared. You're ready to go into battle here. Um, and to overcome obstacles and to and to fight for your freedom in some respect, um, spiritually. Understanding. Um, yes, I do see greater understanding um, being laid upon you. A spiritual warrior's only armor is the strength and power of his heart. So as long as you're coming from this heart center, Gemini, this beautiful heart center, you're not going to be thrown off course and you will be moving forward into the most positive version of your life. And I feel that this is necessary. I feel this, um, this inner conflict or you having to be a warrior in your life, whatever area of life it is, whether it's spiritual or otherwise, it is necessary right now um, to clear out some old energies and to to free you, free you up, um, to allow this dream, wish, desire to come through and manifest in your life. We have the card of self-expression. And we have the energy of water. So a water sign may be around you, like I picked up, there may be a Pisces or another water sign Water is about uh, symbolically about emotions. And so you may need to express your emotions this week, express your emotions to perhaps rid you of negative emotions to get the energy moving in your body physically, emotionally and mentally. So that may mean having a good cry. That may mean um, having a good talk. Um, it may be a physical exercise may help some kind of physical or um, some kind of self-expression. Um, it may be getting it out on paper. It may be writing is really important um, to uh, to help you right now. We have the tower energy around you. So Gemini, there has been some major disruption Maybe a, an energy of being unstable in some way. An area of your life has been feeling unstable or perhaps you're knowing there's a there's a knowing, a deep knowing, an intuitive knowing that something will be unstable in the near future. But overall, the energy of the tower is one of one of success and getting onto um, moving you onto your true path. So this instability is necessary to break away from old habits to break away from where you are um, into an energy that is more right for you ultimately the page of inspiration there may be some form of communication here um, this energy represents children as well or someone younger than you that's important in your life that may be to do with a situation that you have going on. So there is um, a wonderful creativity here. So this week you may feel that you're wanting to be a bit more artistically. Um, you may want to express yourself artistically. Now, there is also an energy here of enthusiasm and looking ahead and looking forward with enthusiasm. So I do like that energy. It is a joyful energy overall. We have strength energy. This is Leo's card. So you may have a Leo around you or significant in your life in some way. 
You feel on some level that what's going on in your life in an area, maybe relationships or work or maybe finding your true path, your life purpose. There is an element of destiny here and you feel it and you know it and it's an unshakable feeling. Strength is a great card because it means that you do have the strength to overcome any adversity that may be placed in front of you. So I do like that card for you. This is a card of balance as well. You're balancing your what's going on internally. Um, so you're not fighting yourself anymore. You're in harmony. The three of emotions is a great card of community. So you may be mo uh, moving into a group in the community or being more involved in your local community. There is a sense here of being very happy emotionally with your connections that you have in your life. There may be a celebration that takes place. So it's a... Um, there may be three people, you and two other people here. You may, it feels like a unit. It feels like you're a unit, maybe a family unit, maybe something happening in the workplace. You, two other people here. There may be a lot of emotions around you and uh, how you feel toward these two people. And we have the queen of emotions. This queen is very reflective and very aware of her emotions. So you'll be in that energy this week, Gemini. I'm also loving the symbolism because you're rising from the depths out into the light. So you're going through um, the muck and the grime and, and difficult circumstances and whatever is um, holding you back here you're overcoming it and you're going to blossom here you're going to see new opportunities come through for you you may still be wading through some emotional uh, minefield right now but you are going to come out of it um, with your dreams intact and if you follow your intuition gemini you really are going to be able to manifest these dreams so you've got a very nice reading here, Gemini, for the week. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon.